battery's on red. I need another battery. Nice. Now there's a battery. <sighs> okay. Should I do my intro here or on the street walking? On the street. On the street? Yeah. See you soon. So, okay, there's like a lot of people. Why is it so chaotic? How do I introduce this? So I came up with this weird concept. I don't know, maybe not weird, kind of cool, more experimental, but I want to see if Hugo and two of our friends that you saw in a previous vlog of La Rochelle could figure out if, like, could figure out which wine is like what price. So like, do they have a taste buds that can tell the difference between like two euro wine and like 20 euro wine. So I'm going to car four right now. I'm gonna get three different bottles, all of Bordeaux, all red. So at least like some consistencies going on with this. Um, I'm gonna try to find the cheapest one I literally can find, a, like medium price one. This is gonna be a yeah. lot harder than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. And then like a high end, not really a high end, like pretty low end, but like, I feel like compared to what we were used to buying high end is 15 euros. So off to the store to get those. And then only I will know which bottle is which. So when they come over, like they have no idea the price points. And you guys will know too, because you'll see me picking them out. So I got two of the three bottles at the Carrefour market and I'm going to try to go to a wine shop to get the third one. Whatever you think is good. Un vin rouge, donc sur les graves de Bordeaux, un peu de matière et pas trop puissant. Et ça c'est vraiment chouette, je suis à 12 euros et c'est top. Perfect. So I've got all three bottles, got the third one from this cute little wine shop. The guy was super helpful and pointed to one that he likes a lot. It's just past six. Our friends are coming over around seven. We have crepes to make for dinner and then we'll start our wine test. It smells so good. If you haven't seen the video about us making crepes, you should go check that out. Uh, this is corn. I don't know what type of fruit that is. My grandma both made them, and they're from fruit in their backyard. So we have Masha, Hugo, and Angela. <laughs> Let's get started. Are you that entertained? Yeah. So open them all. Now time to pour. Learning some French grammar from the book I got. So I forgot to cut like this off before I took the cork out, which is the proper way to open a bottle. But I've never really opened a bottle before, so you live and you learn. Guys, we are set. Oh. Kira made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the bottles wrong too. Wow. I forgot to do the little thing where you take off the like cover before you like crank out the cork. No, you do that before anything. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> do it at all. Right. How would then how are you gonna get the cork out? You you can just power through. No? Yeah, I did three times. I'm too strong for these yeah, wine bottles. Just Color. A disclaimer, we are not a wine professional. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are we alcoholics that drink every day, so we're like <laughs> amateurs. Okay, so the the middle has like the the strongest color. The C1, I don't like the smell. <laughs> Let's start with that. Three bottles, three different prices. A, B, and C, they're all the same for each of you. Figure out which one's which. Mm. 
Smells nice. It's fruity. <laughs> Professional in the house. Yeah, my first guess, I would it say it's the, 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 the cheapest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like the smell. It smells more complex already. Definitely better. Citrusy. Much better than the first one. Mm, Double agree. better. So they might be the cheapest and the most expensive one. I'm saying this one's definitely still the cheapest for me. Yeah. Let's see it has the best smell and the best taste for me. See, for C, I don't, I don't, not getting a lot of smell. I prefer B over C. Mm. Like a burn taste. Like oaky. Oaky, yeah. yeah. Sure. There's no tannins in C. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything to your mouth. Yeah. That makes me feel like it's not as good, and it smells weak. Chill. This is gonna be a yeah, lot yeah. harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wait, but so all you guys are in consensus is that A is the lowest one. The cheapest one. But between B and C, I think I will will be. B is the most expensive. I would say so. Why not? I don't know anymore. <laughs> For me, this one is definitely the worst. I would never buy it. Mm -hmm. The first one. Yeah. And then I between agree. this one and this one, this one is not strong. In the end, it doesn't have any like specific flavor. It's just oaky. Yeah. Then the, the second one is the most complex. Okay. So I'm gonna do low. Agreed. Medium. Yeah. Medium. Agreed. High. I'm sorry, I'll move that. This will be really interesting if we are all wrong. Or if you're all right. You guys are pros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would like uh, that outcome. Cool. If the, the wine stays longer in the burnt uh, oak, the oak barrels. Mm -hmm. barrels, then it's like the, that's the most expensive. I'm still thinking. Now, <laughs> bring out the bottles and I'll show them like which one went with what letter okay, yeah. so now it's kind of seen if you know how to read a bottle i guess I wait so you guys are all switching before i bring the bottles out i'm influencing I, them trying no to i'm not switching i'm not changing i'm, not switching I'm sticking until one switch i have more evidence drum rolls b mm. c i thought this one was the cheapest by the bottle b and i chose it as the most expensive one I don't like the C one. The C bottle, definitely. Yeah, it's too simple, but. Yep. You never, you never know. know, but for me, it's like. Hmm. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> if A becomes the most expensive one. Okay, there. Okay, there's some other. 2019, 2019, 2018. Hmm. Which it is the darkest. It's which it's makes it the oldest. It's Definitely Saint Emilion should be like the best one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now it's it tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> when I decided to something. No, but for me, it's still, still too acidic. It's cool though, the bottles are influencing your. Yeah, but they're, the bottles are also really different. But now, mm -hmm. the design of the bottles in Bordeaux just like the trends changed. So before this, it was like. Traditional with some names and old pictures. That meant like that it's something prestige, but now it's like they make simple, graphically new design. So it might also be that it sees the yeah. the new design and maybe Chateau that is like adapting better to the market. Although I was indecisive and say that the C for me is the best one. Uh, C might yeah. be the best one because this one looks like something I saw in shops. <laughs> But maybe I'm wrong. This one, the B looks super basic. And it has like the chateau, yeah, like agree. it's the old. You get that at Cap Fool for like three bucks, two bucks. Santi Mignon one, they're like better ones, generally. Um, so yeah. that would bring it up a little bit. And then this one, like Masha was saying, you know, like the, the nicer ones are kind of being more modern. <laughs> um, so that's why I see it up here. I completely agree uh, <laughs> on the label, Charles, yeah. but. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm... But I still thinking. cannot... If I can have two choices... I'd be right, but yeah. I may be completely wrong still. This is cool though! I will also do this. What this means is that I still prefer B1. So for me, I would drink B and I would buy B more. Then so it's I great would... if it's the cheapest yeah. one. <laughs> so it's great, but A, I will put it here because of Sunny Million and the whole thing with mm. this region. Yeah, I, I agree after yeah. the label, so... You did good. Because you put San Emilion, it's a good uh, 
Yeah, it changed that. Trick. Yeah, it's, yeah, she did good choice of bottles. So uh, great, Kira. It kind of just comes to show though that we don't know shit when yeah. it comes to taste. Or yeah, we don't know anything when it comes to taste. Yeah, but for um, me, like the smell is maybe the most important thing. Tea is the best for smell. Yeah, that's true. But then the taste, it's... Taste? But you said that it doesn't have a, t a smell yeah. for you. No, I said it's very small. Uh-huh, yeah. it's I, small. I vote for B, still. Label choice, <laughs> taste <laughs> choice, <laughs> and like the one we would buy choice. So is this our final, final decision? Yeah. 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 Lock it in! They came to a consensus once they saw the bottles, but they changed it from their taste. So, in least expensive, we have. So I went into Carrefour and I said, I'm gonna buy the cheapest one I could find. But then some guy literally grabbed the second cheapest one. So I was like, okay, it's popular. I'll take that one. <laughs> so that obviously is this one. It was just under three euros. Under three euros? Mm -hmm. oh. But you guys clearly <laughs> were okay with under three euro wine. I was like, okay. I mean, if you like think about like when you look at what we did with the degustation, yeah. and like there'll be a vlog about that soon. Um, C, it's very finesse and like it's like very important in a good wine because it's like very subtle, very smooth, but like you had to like yeah. think about what the flavors are. So in a way, like it makes sense this one's the most expensive because it has that finesse and it has that like extra level of like detail. I yeah. agree, yeah. And thank you guys for participating. Thank of you. course, it was our the pleasure. Host. Thanks for joining us. Um, Hope you learn something. I don't know that taste buds do tell, but marketing might tell a little more. <laughs> so, <laughs> till next time, subscribe below. Bye. Here, this is the best one I tried the I, whole time. Yeah, since since my uh, time in Bordeaux, this is my favorite one. Until, this is my oh. favorite wine until now. Yep.